What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo State College Bengals Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. Season 2 is finally here. Drop a like and get ready, because the Tigers are rolling. Plenty of great players on each side of the ball, and of course, it all starts with the blonde-locked wonder, Trevor Lawrence. 6'6", big frame, going to be very intimidating in this game. He gives off to Travis Etienne to the left side, and he gets past everybody on his way to 14 yards, and then Trevor, second and six, fires a rifle to Justin Ross. He has a first down out past the 35-yard line. They have to settle for three, and it looks good from here, right? Take another look. No good, and Lance Rice in the offense takes over after they catch a break. Leon Jacobs, the touted freshman, picks up six yards, and Rice draws backs and fires on third down and cannot find his man, B.J. Lynch. They have to punt right back to the Tigers, not what you want to see, and they go right back to ETN, who punches a man in the face. Welcome to college football, Jay Woods, and they go what again to ETN up the middle for 14 yards and another first down chunk, and I am shocked. ETN yet again spinning his way down inside the 35 yard line major deja vu they don't need Trevor Lawrence but they finally utilize him and he finds Amari Rogers streaking like a naked fan down the sideline for an easy six points and Clemson is on the board with 321 remaining in the first quarter Rice and Co take over Leon Jacobs right up the middle powers through a man and picks up a chunk of 16 of his own take that ETN they go right back his way and he has another first down for the offense so finding some success in the running game. Third down and 10, however. Lance Rice has to make a play. Draws back and fires downfield and misses B.J. Simmons. The accuracy is a big concern. He is throwing wild. He gives it right back. Trevor Lawrence to T. Higgins. He says that is how it is done, Mr. Freshman. And of course, tack on the additional face mask call. Would not be a Buffalo State game without it. Trevor dumps it off. Smith makes the catch on the left side of the field. He runs over three guys. Where is the tackling? And Cannon Smith, like his name, cannons through multiple players and gets Clemson into the end zone. Up 14 to nothing, now or never. Where do you go? Your only productive offensive piece is DJ Lee returning back to his true form and the best returner in college football inside the 45-yard line after 48 they go pistol, Lance Rice draws back, third and two, floats it in a beautiful dot to B.J. Simmons, redeems himself for a gain of 11 as the clock ticks down in the first quarter. Rice under pressure though, and he goes down. Tanner Muse on the safety blitz, my goodness, he was in the backfield way fast, a speeding bullet, and he gives Clemson the football back. They send a man in motion right to left, Lawrence takes a snap, dumps it off, dangerous throw, but of course, that big arm of his able to fit it into that gap for a 11 yards. Lawrence play action off the sweep. Finds Williams wide open like a Burger King drive through. He runs through Flanagan. A few more missed tackles and he has way more yardage than he should have had inside the 35 yard line. Clemson moving out of the pistol. Lawrence takes a snap. ETN into block. Dumps it off for Kendrick. He stiff arms a man. Where are these plays coming from? Deja vu on the left side. Darren Kendrick ran through everyone, but hang on just a second, folks. It looks impressive on paper, but it looks like that left foot of his stepped out on a little bit of the white mark, and indeed it did. First and goal nonetheless for Clemson. They have the ball inside the five-yard line. Lawrence pitches to ETN. Of course they don't make the tackle, and of course ETN yet again scores a touchdown. Lance Rice, though, going to go back to the ground game to Leon Jacobs, where they've had success. 351 remaining and ticking. Lance Rice, second and 10. Rolls to his right side. Stops for a second. Fires and Billy Myers, the freshman to freshman connection in traffic for 16 yards. They move the chains with a beautiful first down reception. They got a move though, down 21. Just over three minutes to go. Lance floats one downfield and B.J. Simmons is all alone. He says let's eat. Season 2 has arrived and Lance Rice with a dime on time. BSC cuts the lead to 14 points, but of course Lawrence marches them right down the field under a minute to go. He steps up, 
and rifles one inside to Kendrick. He's down inside the one, however. They have a chance to score before halftime. Second down and goal. ETN, of course, into the end zone for a touchdown. His third rushing score. Buffalo State has another chance, however, with 11 seconds remaining in the half. Three by two, Seattle Seahawks goal line formation. Rice lets it go and finds Bo Burrell way downfield, but probably not going to be enough. This sends it into halftime, and we will be back right after this ad break. We return for second half action. Hopefully Buffalo State can prove more of a challenge to Clemson in this half as Rice rolls to his right side and fires way downfield to B.J. Lynch. 47 yards. You know, he's missed a few throws, but this is the type of arm talent we have in Lance Rice. He's only going to get better and better as he floats one into coverage and on cue intercepted. Tanner Muse has given him problems all game long. Intercepts him in the end zone. And Lance Rice just contracts Madden Brand. Gives the ball back to Trevor Lawrence. Never a good idea. Read option to the right side. He picks up 11 and a first down. Two plays later, third down and two. Lawrence keeps it himself and has yet another first. They are unable to cover him. Just don't want to deal with the hair. By the way, it looks like he cut it off. I don't see it anywhere. Third down and three. Give right Taven Feaster. And they finally get a stop. Hold Clemson to three points. It is still a four possession game. But Lance Rice and co. get the ball back. Two by three empty. Rice fires downfield and Burrell is there again. His second big time reception of the game. This one for a first down. Clock ticks down under six and a half to go. Rice, clean pocket. Pressure comes. Fires downfield for Lee and he makes a spectacular play. 42 yards and Lee didn't drop that one. Dropped many passes last season but goes up to get it ironically and double coverage to make it first down and goal. Two plays later, third and goal. They give up the middle to Leon Jacobs. He puts his head down and doesn't quite get there. So inside the one, what do you do? You know where it's going. Nicholas Lee, the fullback, and he didn't get there. They forgot that Isaiah Simmons is on this team. And Clemson gets the ball back, not for long, however. They would punt a minute and a half to go. And unfortunately, Tanner Muse puts Lance Rice into a coffin, steals it away, and stiff arms a man for the timely pick six. Clemson leads 38-7 to over Buffalo State. And what a beautiful play from Tanner Muse. He jumps the out route and scores a touchdown off of it. Buffalo State, of course, with the ball back. Malik Dupree wants to see what his team can do in Lance Rice. A dot to Hunter Haskins. He's thrown the ball pretty well today, other than a few difficult freshman decisions that are mostly on me. Bunch to the right side. Three men. Rice rolls to his right side. Stops. Fires down Philly. BJ Lynch completely drops it. I can't believe it. He had a man wide open. Beautiful throw. He can't capitalize. Nevertheless, third and four. Pressure comes and Lance Rice goes down. Of course, this game is over, but may as well go for it. See what your team has. Rice to Myers works once again. He's wide open on the out route. Love to see that from the freshman. 26 seconds remain. They're going to try to get in the end zone. 12 seconds, third and 10. Rice rolls to his right side. Can't get rid of it and goes down, and it doesn't look good. Lance Rice slow to get up, and he's holding his back in very serious pain, and this could be very bad as he showed plenty of promise in this game. They fall 38-7 to to Clemson. However, there is still one more game, so be sure to stick around. But the bigger question in this game, what is wrong with Lance Rice? FG has the answer. What a great call by Jack Legion, but unfortunately, our Buffalo State Bengals just could not keep up with the Clemson Tigers today, going down 38-7. to Leon Jacobs tried to make a couple plays out there, the freshman running back. Lance Rice, very nice plays from Lance Rice today. The freshman quarterback definitely showed flashes that he could be an incredible player for us. Unfortunately, we lose him for the season with a ruptured disc. You do not know how badly hurt I feel right now, and I'm sure Jack Legion is hurt as well. Just an absolutely crazy injury to have. 
as we take a look through the week two scores, but Lance Rice going down, we are going to have to find our new starting quarterback for the rest of the season, and that is just absolutely unfortunate. The Clemson Tigers take him out, and as you can see, Auburn is the current number one ranked team in the nation. South Carolina at 15 is very interesting. The defending national champions lose their first game and drop to number nine. Army currently is in the lead of our MAC division. Western Michigan, Toledo, and Eastern Michigan all get wins. And here's the updated Heisman watch. Mike Weber Jr. is hurt, but on top of the Heisman race right now. Then looking, we are going to go up against Syracuse in game number two of this double header. Brought to you by Franchise Gaming. We can build a winner together. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are new for the love of franchise and dynasty content because that is what we do here. Syracuse is no doubt a dangerous team with some big time playmakers. Kai Jagger, the freshman quarterback did end up over there, so he was a blue-chip prospect. We are going to have to take him down. Let's send it down to Jack Legion and the call. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, FG, and the home crowd roaring early in this one as Syracuse from just down the road, but Buffalo State starts out booming Melvin Flanagan, armed robbery on one of the first plays of the game. He takes this one all the way back. Buffalo State doesn't even need their offense on the field to score a touchdown. Flanagan pick six just a minute into the game. And they go bunch set two by two, second down and 10. DeVito driving, working, and Strickland brings him down as he tries to take off. Halting that drive, Eric Rowe and the offense get the ball for the first time today. Rowe under duress, fires quick, Lynch makes the catch, and more slippery than a bar of soap gets away and makes reservations for six. 56 yards for B.J. Lynch on one of the luckiest plays I've ever seen. That should have been a pass deflection, but he makes the catch and breaks the tackle all along the way for the double doink. 14-0 in Buffalo State's favor, and the screen goes nowhere. Vincent and Strickland there together to tag team and bring him down in the backfield. Third and 14, they punt the football back to Eric Rowe and the offense. He makes some adjustments at the line. Takes a snap and wide open like a Burger King drive through. DJ Lee makes the catch and transition all the way down inside the 10. The speedster showing that he can get it done in the receiving game. But why not let him finish what he started? Row to DJ Lee and number one scores the double one yard touchdown. Buffalo State suddenly up three possessions early in this game. It's only the beginning of the second quarter as DeVito second and one goes speed option to left. But the true freshman Terrence Jackson brings him down to make it third down and five. They will punt the football back unable to get anything going. Going. Simmons comes in motion and of course it's on time to unleash the Leon Jacobs all the way up the middle for a gain of 11 huge chunk for him he's been productive early on second and six why not go back Leon's way and he pays dividends 10 yards on the ground he certainly had an impressive true freshman season over the past couple games Syracuse would get the ball back after Buffalo State tacks on a field goal. Mean with the screen to the left side. Mo Neal has it for 17, their best play so far. And going into the half, they are able to tack on a long field goal to make it 24-3. They put a bit of a dent into that 24-3 lead. We'll be right back. Back to action in Coyer Field. All I see is orange. DeVito gives up the middle to Mo Neal, and he has about 11 yards and a first down. Syracuse trying to get moving down 21 DeVito does just that inverted veer keeps it himself and gets down inside the 10 after 16 They go way heavy give to their fullback a heavy man himself and he scores three yards despite Markel McMillan being in his way Powers through him and Syracuse suddenly has 10 unanswered points as Rowe gives up the middle to Jacobs and a big hole for Jacobs picks up 18 on his biggest run of the game Buffalo State has been chewing the clock all half long, trying to play with the momentum. Rowe fires quick to Lynch. Lynch has it, and he has a first down reception and a gain of 19 before going out of bounds. That ends the third quarter. 420 remaining. Nice. Eric Rowe drops back to throw and gets too greedy. Intercepted. The linebacker makes a tremendous read 
Eric Rowe in his first start just trying to do a little too much following the Lance Rice injury. Very gruesome and certainly not a great decision from Eric Rowe as DeVito has a chance to cut it to a one possession game. He swerves a little field. Jay Woods takes a bad angle and he takes off for over 40 yards. Big time play from Tommy DeVito gets them inside the 25 and I think I can feel momentum shifting in this game but they have under four minutes to score 14 points. Can they get it done? 302 remaining. DeVito takes it out of the split backs. Steps up in the pocket. All the time in the world. Fires. And Pierre makes the diving reception inside the one for 22 yards. That one stings way too much time for DeVito. Two minutes to go. Third and goal. What do you do? DeVito stands in the pocket. Doesn't like what he sees. Decides to take off anyways. And despite there being a spy up, DeVito is able to take it in from less than a yard out. Suddenly, it is 17-24 after Buffalo State led 24 points. Under two to go. Leon Jacobs picks up a first down. And Buffalo State can continue chewing this clock and Syracuse's precious timeouts. They have no more, but Jacobs unable to find room on the left side. They eat the clock as much as they can and kick a Kevin Kinsley field goal. And he doesn't get it. Comes up short the wind playing villain in this one. Under a minute to go. Syracuse, no timeouts. Down seven. Can they make it happen? The strike to Devin Butler, and he makes the catch for 49 yards. But Syracuse has to hurry. Under 20 to go. Third and goal. DeVito fires to Neal, and he has it down inside the one. Under 10 to go. They hurry up. Four and ticking. Snap. DeVito pressured and finds Cameron Jordan with two seconds to go and Syracuse completes the comeback in Buffalo State all but blows a 24 point lead. Guess what? Overtime tied 24 all DeVito up the middle to Neal. Neal rumbling right up the middle for 12 yards and a first down move forward third and six split backs. They dump it off wide open Jarvion Howard and he scores from nine out. Tommy DeVito has officially taken the lead with 31 unanswered points, but don't think that Eric Rowe and co are going down without a fight. Billy Myers for 11, fourth down and one for the game. Leon Jacobs powers forward and manages to score. Buffalo State has tied the game, but wait a second. This is for it all. They're gonna go for two to end the game. Rowe, snap, pressure, fires, and no! Haskins dropped it, and the game is over. Buffalo State, shut up, kitty. I'm trying to commentate. Blew a 24-point lead. After starting out so strong in this game with a pick six, a 56-yard touchdown, and it all comes down to this at Coyer Field. I cannot believe Hunter Haskins dropped it. After Eric Rowe comes in, for an injured Lance Rice and lights it up. We repay him with a drop in overtime. That being said, if you enjoyed the video today in the doubleheader, smash that like button and subscribe to join the FG fam. We can build a winner together here at Buffalo State. Take care, everybody.